32 or 42 to get those extra hits in and then just punching their way through the Temple of Fiends. Of course, with the alternate final boss, you do need some extra levels on your mages. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how things go as we go off. The king immediately gives us a Masa. Um, Cure 4 is available. Invis 2. Heal 3 is all available. So you have a bunch of heal spells. And then on the black side, you have Ice 3, Fire 3. So you have your clear spells. You have your heal spells for long, for long periods of grinding. You got Pro Rings for 1,200. You got your uh, Moss Immune already off the top so that your Black Belt's going to be doing really good single target damage right out of the gate. Um, someone said Free Seed earlier. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. This is going to be a blisteringly fast seed, unless we can't find a grind spot somehow. I, that's going to be the big equalizer is how hard are the grind spots? Because, I, I mean, I've had seed, or I've had, you know practice races where I've had s something similar to this and all the grind spots have been having, you know, Blizzard, Fire 3, uh, s Crack, you know, all this different stuff to kill all your guys or they just attacked heavily and you wasted so much time trying to find like an outer or an overworld encounter that you can grind off of just to get going. Thawny Wrath takes out Garland with just his White Mage living. All planned. Uh, get, 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 gets, gets the rod from Sarah, but, you know, more importantly, gets that Moss Immune. He probably kicking himself that he didn't check with the king off the start for the Masa, because that helps uh, instantly, or a lot, for uh, killing Garland. Also, it, does, it makes your Black Belt useful in that fight. On Shadow Walker's side... He decided, well, I've got all this great AoE. I'm just going to go kill some pirates. Uh, gets a tail for his troubles, which we may or may not actually see used. Um, and then goes down into the Provoca item shop and finds the crown for sale. Uh, fast and temper at level 2 and Brack, if you want to be cheeky. I mean, with that, you could... Oh, and Fade level 2, Life level 2. I mean, you could almost do a very early danning or killing off your mages. At, you know, you get enough charges where you can fast and temper and just solo Black Belt, if you can. Yeah, I. if there's any seed where that's the play, it's going to be this one. Um, especially if you find grind tiles that aren't amazing, but go down really nicely. There's only a few enemies in them, and your uh, black belt can start one-shotting them. Yeah, th this is a seed where you're going to let at least one of those mages take a nap. And uh, the crown was available for about 7,000 in Provoca. Which is is pretty cheap. I mean, if I can buy my way into the symbol of elven royalty for that much, hell, I'm starting a Kickstarter. Uh, right? Hello, civilians. I am going to need your money so I can buy your crown. Then I'm going to give it to this evil king. What, the, the guy in Northwest Castle? No, he's totally trustworthy. You can totally trust him. Are you sure? Our, uh, Shadow Walker finds an Agama and Red Giant tile in the Earth Cave. And with that like Ice the... 3 and Fade, Agama goes down pretty quick. I like this trap tile, but I also don't like it at the start, too, because Red Giants hit so hard almost every time. Yeah. T took that one down... Uh, when there was only the two uh, enemies on the spot, <clears throat> um, but it's it'll be rough at this stage of the game to take multiples. <laughs> Forgot to equip the Mossimian. That explains it. 
then gets ambushed, that is going to spell a lot of trouble. Or, uh, it could just be according to plan. If that red giant go goes down nicely, uh, ooh, this is getting, oh, goes down. And I'd seen, and Lynn the Cat had found, yep, the Germedusas in the Grey Worm, uh, or no, sorry, not Grey Worm, the Fire Elemental Trap Tile in Volcano. That's a really good tile in this one. But they have Cremate. I mean, then you're just playing, you know, a uh, nuclear tag. Um, I would take the Germedusas, personally. Um, especially once I get a few levels and some fire resistance. Um, that's going to be a good spot to grind because there's just so much experience you can get off them, especially if you get one of the big packs. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. The only downside, I mean, if you had like a mage staff, you might be able to solo grind the black belt, which I did see for sale. I don't remember exactly where it was, but at least then you could two turn the Medusas with your solo black belt if you're going to do that. Make it a lot more worthwhile. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you probably do want to get some levels on one of your mages, at least one of your mages, just so that they can survive the dive through Topher. Um, and Given that the White Mage has Fade, I would definitely give them those extra levels because... Oh no, your Black black Mage died. It's not like your other mage that is alive can cast life or anything. And, and yeah, you do bring up a good point. Is With Nuke and Fade, you already have high non-elemental spells that do a lot of damage. You know, you, you get those the charges you get to 26 32 relatively quickly anyways um and you just go with fade temper if you need to and you have nuke and fade to carry you i mean you're pretty much set either way that way yeah ali finds a mage staff as well as a ribbon floating around in matoya's cave um, probably relics of her old adventuring days that she's giving to you now that you need to save the world, but, you know, maybe I'm just reading some fun lore into this. <laughs> I can't with you. I'm, I'm laughing too hard. That was great. Uh, we've got Harm to an Exit at level 3 White Magic. The exit's definitely the more interesting ones. Um, but let's see what we've got at level 4 spells. Uh, Fog 2, Heal 2. Uh, those are pretty nice. Uh, yeah, Fog 2 is pretty good. And as you can see in Algebra, uh, he doesn't have anybody in the first location. So you get to see Picky the Pirate. <laughs> Uh, no good level 4 black magic. A level 5 has lit 2, which isn't the most exciting, but it can get some jobs done. Uh, Shadow Rocker picking up that mage staff and uh, ribbon from the Toya. Uh, chat's talking a little bit about how color palettes work. Uh, one of the things that the randomizer introduce, has introduced as a feature is the ability to have a third color palette uh, for your party members. Um, if you uh, take a look, there's a check checkbox to it. It won't do anything by default unless you have a specialized sprite hack, but if you come hang out in one of the discords, there will definitely be a little... Uh, people there who will be able to help you get some fun colors on all of your different light warriors. And as we say that, it looks like Lem the Cat is trying to kill off his white mage. Going to do that solo black belt grind. 
Uh, Coronary Castle has a ship in a box. Ooh, fancy. It's kind of like a ship in a bottle, except you have to take it out with the weird hook. But, but don't break the mast. Yeah. Looks like Lund's down to a solo black belt. Uh, now I gotta admit, the only downside... Oh, sorry. I was sorry. gonna say, the only downside of this is he has to run out, and if he runs into a random encounter inside while he's running out with low health, it could be really rough for him. On the other hand... Uh, m most of these runners have a pretty good idea of what the encounter table looks like. Um, and so he probably knows that how far in and out he can go before running into a random encounter. And he's run out of camping equipment. Yep, and as you just seen there, he did a hard reset and he reset his encounter steps. So, yep, he knows that. Yeah, Ali checking the dwarf cave finds a heel staff and an opal bracelet. Uh, so, that's going to be some really nice armor uh, to get on that black belt. A free opal bracelet like that, always a nice find. Because you don't have to go searching for it, which is nice. Yeah, and at that point, your black belt with the opal bracelet and the ribbon doesn't need any other equipment. They can have... Uh, a pro ring is always good to have, but it it's not necessary. Frost dragons in the northwest castle locked. Mm -hmm. uh, Seem to go not down nice to that fire three cast. Yeah. Looks like they got less health than the red dragons, which is great. Yeah. Uh, looks like Sonny's going to be sitting here for a little bit. And I just realized that because of the last race where we were fighting red dragons i compared them to last race's red dragons yeah here we've got the uh, red giants and agamas but given that you can take out the agama pretty much with one or two aoe casts and your black belt can usually punch down that red giant uh at least shadow walkers can <laughs> So yeah, we've got all of our runners taking on vastly different strategies. It's going to be interesting to see uh, when all of them decide to go to Topher. Shadow Walker can afford to sit back, relax, and, you know, have fun. But our other three runners are in a dead sprint for the second slot to advance. Uh, one, one of those three will. The other two won't. Lend the cat takes a wipe. I'm not sure how much progress he lost. I didn't. I missed it. Also, but he's still swinging the masa, so he's not twenty-eight or above yet. Yeah, for the record, if there is a tie in points, um, the second runner to advance uh, will be uh, chosen uh, via the initial seating that we had. So ties will break to Sonny first, then Len, then Ali Jabrap. I think Len the Cat ran out of um, camping equipment. He's been yeah. playing a deadly or a very dangerous game there. Uh, going to Provoka to pick things up. Um, stopping by the armor shop to get the opal bracelets and the ribbons for sale.
right now we're just kind of in a lull here, just watching everybody level. Uh, I think Len the Cat's probably going to make the first move. Was that one house they buy or two or ten? Unclear. Uh, didn't look like he had that much money, so it was probably only one. Um, but it also looks like Shadow Walker is really hot on his heels. Um, Sonny's party has just hit 32. Uh, Ali's party is in the high 20s, so his grind's almost done. Uh, Shadow Walker's got that 32 black belt. Um, and I'm not sure where Len the Cat's levels are. Uh, Len the Cat's black belt is 32. Okay. So it looks like uh, Shadow Walker is our... Well, no, he's got to take out Garland. Well, 34 black belt. I, I, I remember seeing him in 32, but yeah, he fought one more fight before he left. Yeah. So at this point, all of our runners are, are in that 32 black belt zone. Um, and so the, the gamble that you could take at this point would be saying, no, Topher is going to be brutal. I'm taking my black belt up to 42. Um, and with crack and hits like that, that might not be a bad call. And Tia two with nuke. One, One shots, shot. lend the cats, uh, black mage, but that doesn't have much health. So it's kind of understandable. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how our runners res uh, respond to uh, some of this brutality from the Temple of Fiends. It looks like Shadow Walker reset out of the Kraken fight, went back to Tia. Yeah, he, Shadow Walker was not having a good time on the TF uh, on the Kraken fight. And Len the Cat had good luck and was able to get through Kraken in two turns. Uh, Tiamat's down for Shadow Walker. Len is going to give us a look at this final boss. And Sonny Rath is our third runner into the Temple of Fiends. Uh, taking on... Uh, Tiamat and resetting, unfortunately. When the cat finds the fun dead party. Oh, boy. And this is kind of the worst case scenario for Len the cat in some ways, because all he has is fire three. And he, he's got the fade spell. But doesn't really have much to get rid of those fan oh inferno liches yeah it looks like shadow walker is also uh down here as well um black mage is down black belt gets hit for 400 white mage is down black belt is dead that's a wipe I mean, Shadow Walker kind of got killed there by turn order, uh, but I don't think he would have had much of a chance anyways. Yeah. Uh, Sonny's got a better chance. Higher level mages. Yeah, let's see how he handles this. Uh, Fade goes off, which is good. Uh, not. A Ooh, a Phantom goes down at 266. Uh, Lich goes down. Yeah, Sonny might have this. Good. Hope, hope for good turn order. Ooh, okay, the black belt's down. It's okay. And the other fan fire three comes out. Ooh, Lich hits back. See what happens. Lich is down. Saudi Wrath has a finish, officially finished with an SRL time of 19 minutes and 30 seconds. GG. And that's exactly what we talked about. Do you sacrifice your mage's health um, to level up your black belt and hope that the end boss or the alternate boss is something where your black belt can just smash? Or do you level up everything kind of equally and it allows you more leeway on the alternate boss? And Sonny was able to take advantage of that. And because of the initial seating, 
Sonny Rath and uh, Shadow Walker are officially our two uh, racers who are advancing on to the next round. Lon the Cat going to take another... Oh, he's going for some defense on his white mage. And we are now joined by Sonny Rath. GG! Thank you. Now to breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, man. Uh, this is Dang Wu. Nice job on that last uh, run. I, I completely agree with your idea of leveling up your mages, because I think that helped out immensely for that alternate boss. Yeah, I mean, even though I hadn't done any dive on Topher to see what the chaos was, when I saw Fun Dead and I knew I had Bait and Fire 3, as well as my Black Belt at 32, I, I had a feeling things were going to go smoothly. It all came down to how high the Phantom's HP had rolled, and fortunately, it didn't roll all that high. Yeah, um, and really the big thing that... Uh, saved you was just having that extra HP on your mages so that they could survive casting all of the AoE magic. Um, a lot of the other runners focused on, you know, channeling that experience into the Black Belt. Um, which, you know, is great against single targets like the Fiend Refights and Vanilla Chaos, but... Against the fun dead, you really, really need that strong AoE magic. Ooh, Ali Jabrap is down to two liches. Yeah, this is his first dive, I believe, too, and he's also got some high-level mages, which has helped out a lot, as you can see. Yeah, black mage goes down, but the second lich goes down. Ali Jabrap is finished with an official SRL time of 22 minutes and 4 seconds. It definitely helps, I think, that the phantoms are not the crit machines that we normally see from them. Normally, whenever I look at their stats, whatever, they're at like 44% chance to crit or higher. And, and and they'll and they hit so hard that your like your casters will take 300, 400, 500 damage. Even your 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 tanky guys will take that much damage. That's just how powerful those things can be. And Len the Cad's doing pretty well. We are now joined by Ali Jabrap. GG! Len the Cat, all he has left is Lich and one Phantom. One Lich down. And gets it! I'm Jeez. sorry, I forgot to uh, push to talk. Uh, GG to Len. <laughs> no worries. Uh... So, what were your thoughts on these races as Len the Cat finishes with a time of 23 minutes and 6 seconds? I don't know, I, I didn't feel good about any of them. Um, like, the third one I felt good because I think I played what I wanted to do and like executed the, the best I could. The only miss I did was a small mistake, but like I don't feel it was that as bad as I thought. Uh, but like, the second race, I don't know how many times I died to those... Uh, um, Red Dragons, uh, like it happened a lot. And the first, I don't remember what it was. What was the first race, anyways? I, I, I totally forgot, honestly. You talking about in the second race? No, I meant the, the first. The, I remember the second race. I don't remember the first at all. It's like pretty much a blur. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunately how these go because.